who is not familiar with the famous Spider-Man series, and let's be real, it is one of the most binge-watched series that's ever been made. However, if you're looking for a quick summarization of the entire Spider-Man 1994 series, then this video is for you. Watch it until the end to find out more. The series tells the story of the superhero Peter Parker and his struggle to maintain a job, keep a girlfriend, pay the rent, and occasionally beat up supervillains as the masked hero Spider-Man. As Peter, he must assist his Aunt May in the wake of Uncle Ben's death, help his friend Harry Osborn find his place in the world, maintain a job at the Daily Bugle, and find time to date the lovely Mary Jane Watson. In the story, during Farley Stillwell's lab presentation, a spider came in the way of his radioactive beam and was genetically improved. This spider then bit Peter and upgraded his DNA as well, giving Peter his powers and starting his journey as Spider-Man. As Spider-Man, he continually faces the forces of evil in villains such as the Kingpin, Hobgoblin, Green Goblin, Venom, and many more. Although balancing the two worlds is difficult for Peter, he always remembers his uncle's words, with great power comes great responsibility. Over the course of the series, Peter faces his dark side with the symbiote suit. He faces off with the likes of Wolverine, Blade, and Punisher. He must deal with his continuing genetic mutation. He saves the world and prevents his alternate self from destroying the entire universe. Before the end, he will even meet the real-life Stan Lee. All right, now let's get into the show. So the beginning of Spider-Man Season 1 opens up with two subway repairmen conversing. They are subsequently attacked by an immense lizard with one of them taken. Thus, Daily Bugle reports show unusual disappearances throughout Manhattan, as well as rumors of a big reptile. Publisher J. Jonah Jameson then offers a $1,000 incentive to any photographer who captures an image of the beast. Despite initially dismissing the lizard rumors as a hoax, reporter Peter Parker intends to collect the reward in order to assist pay off some of his Aunt May's massive debts. Peter subsequently makes his way to interview his science professor, Dr. Kurt Connors, a scientist who works with reptiles. Whilst paying him a visit, he and fellow science student Deborah Whitman witness the lizard exiting their teacher's lavatory. Peter then recalls an experiment he and Dr. Connors worked on involving the ability to regrow mammal limbs using reptilian DNA. Peter furthermore suspects that his science professor is the lizard. After a confrontation with the beast as Spider-Man, which is being shown as his alter ego, he confirms this prediction when Kurt's wife, Margaret, informs him that her husband was transformed whilst attempting to use his scientific technology to regrow his arm, which he lost during a war. Reporter Eddie Brock overhears this chat, prompting Spider-Man to web him to a lamppost in order to keep him from revealing the lizard's identity to the bugle. Dr. Connors then kidnaps his wife and takes her down to the sewer. He explains his idea to employ the Neogenic Recombinator to turn city residents into creatures that resemble him. Spider-Man, on the other hand, saves him from his condition by shooting the doctor with the Recombinator. Back at the Daily Bugle, Peter successfully collects the bounty and offers it to his aunt, while Eddie Brock is unable to show that Dr. Connors is the lizard. In Neogenic Nightmare Chapter 1, The Insidious Six, the story starts with Spider-Man's enemies who seem to be planning an assassination on him. In order to finally kill Spider-Man for his enemy, Silvermane, the Kingpin hires six of Spider-Man's most heinous villains to take down Spider-Man. These villains are Rhino, Chameleon, Dr. Octopus, The Scorpion, The Shocker, and Mysterio. But an even worse threat is born, and that threat is Dr. Farley Stillwell's invention of Neogenics, which is taking away Spider-Man's strength, and Spider-Man's powers have been on the blink due to the changes in his blood chemistry. In order to lure Spider-Man in one of the Kingpin's traps, Ock kidnapped Peter Parker's Aunt May by pretending he was a medical doctor and said that Peter had collapsed on the street near his clinic. Spider-Man goes to save Aunt May, but the Insidious Six beats Spider-Man because he had lost his powers. The episode starts with Hydro-Man snatching a $2 million jewelry that was on display in a water tank. The guards pressed the emergency button and Spider-Man appeared. He chases Hydro-Man, who subsequently tosses Spider-Man into the water tank. When the guards come, they believe Spider-Man has taken the jewelry. 
so Spider-Man ties up the guards before fleeing. Next day, Mary Jane is with Peter at a restaurant, and she gets a call from Hydro Man, from which she gets very jumpy and goes home. So Peter decided to find out who called her and put on his costume and follow Mary Jane's cab. Mary Jane goes to meet Hydro Man. There he gives her the necklace he stole, but Mary Jane gives it back, saying it's over between them, then she leaves. Later, Hydro Man follows her and shows her his powers and says that he can control all the water around him. Then Mary Jane runs away, so Hydro Man creates a huge wave to capture her, but she is saved by Spider-Man. Then Spider-Man tries to use his powers and webbing to stop Hydro Man, but they just go through him since he becomes liquid. Later, Spider-Man finds Mary Jane and takes her to safety. She then tells him that she used to date him in high school. Later, Peter creates an antidote to stop Hydro Man. The next day, Hydro Man kidnaps Mary Jane and takes her to his hideout. There he shows her all the stuff he stole. He tells her that his parents made him enlist in the Navy, and later he had an accident which gave him his powers. Then Mary Jane says that she doesn't love him, so Hydro Man says that he will flood the city and gets angry. Just then, Spider-Man arrives. Spider-Man comes with a new batch of webbing, which freezes Hydro Man. But while Spider-Man is talking to Mary Jane, Hydro Man gets free and throws Spider-Man away with his powers and knocks him out. Meanwhile, Mary Jane runs away and Hydro Man follows her. She goes inside a paper factory. Spider-Man also goes there when he recovers. Mary Jane drops a huge bundle of paper onto Hydro Man, which makes Hydro Man weaker because there is not any water around so that he would become bigger. Mary Jane then drops some solution she finds in the paper factory on him and he starts evaporating. Then she goes up onto the roof and Hydro Man follows. Spider-Man then comes and tells him that it's over and there is no more water to feed him. In anger, Hydro Man attacks Spider-Man and he falls all over the roof and evaporates and his remains become hardened. Spider-Man Season 3, known as The Sins of the Fathers, story arc is the third season of the animated series Spider-Man. The season was broadcast on Fox Kids by the Fox Broadcasting Company between April 27, 1996 and November 23, 1996. Thus, three episodes of the season were aired out of order. The 12th chapter aired before the 10th and 11th chapters. The season opens following the cliffhanger which ended the previous season where Mary Jane disappears and Spider-Man must rescue her from Baron Mordo and Dormammu with help from Doctor Strange. Throughout the season, Spider-Man must also fight off the likes of supervillains such as Dr. Octopus, Green Goblin, Tombstone, Venom, Carnage, and the Hobgoblin. He also teams with Daredevil in an effort to bring down the Kingpin. The episode begins with Anna Watson in despair at Mary Jane's disappearance, blaming Peter. As Spider-Man, he watches Mary Jane committing a robbery. It is later revealed that Mary Jane has joined a cult controlled by Baron Mordo and has been brainwashed to believe she has a relationship with her father. Peter thus confronts Mordo, who attempts to seize control of him by faking the presence of his parents, having witnessed Peter's pursuit of them. Mordo instructs his followers to seize the Wand of Waitum in an attempt to bring his master, Dormammu, a dimension traveler, to Earth. Spider-Man is accidentally caught in Mordo's orders and is hypnotized into helping retrieve the wand. Doctor Strange and his student Wong release Spider-Man from Mordo's control, and they agree to team up to prevent Mordo from releasing Dormammu. Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, and Wong are able to defeat Mordo and Dormammu. Doctor Strange then releases Mary Jane from Mordo's control and convinces her that her father is not present. Madame Webb is also seen in a cameo at the end of the episode overseeing Spider-Man saying goodbye to Doctor Strange and Wong. Who sensed this? And that's all for this video, folks. What are your thoughts on this classic Spider-Man 1994 series? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to always stay updated. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.